the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was approaching. Jesus said to his disciples, You know that after two days it will be the Passover, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas. They plotted together how to arrest Jesus in some deceitful way and kill him. But they said, not during the festival, or else there might be a riot among the people. Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and spoke with the chief priests and officers of the temple guard about how he could betray Jesus to them. They were glad and agreed to give him money. He promised to do it and was looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus to them away from the crowd. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, his disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and there a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Wherever he enters, tell the owner of the house that the teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. They went and found things just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. When the hour had come, Jesus reclined at the table with the twelve apostles. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. A dispute arose among the disciples about which of them was considered to be greatest. But he told them, The kings of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those who have authority over them are called benefactors. But it is not to be that way with you. Instead, let the greatest among you become like the youngest, and the one who leads like the one who serves. For who is greater, one who reclines at the table or one who serves? Isn't it the one who reclines at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have remained with me in my trials. I am going to grant a kingdom to you just as my Father granted to me so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Before the Passover festival, Jesus knew that his time had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father. Having loved those who were his own in the world, he loved them to the end. By the time the supper took place, the devil had already put the idea into the heart of Judas son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God. He got up from the supper and laid aside his outer garment. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter who asked him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered him, You do not understand what I am doing now, but later you will understand. Peter told him, You will never, ever wash my feet. Jesus replied, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Lord, not just my feet, Simon Peter replied, but also my hands and my head. Jesus told him, a person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet, but his body is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. Indeed, he knew who was going to betray him, and that is why he said, not all of you are clean. After Jesus had washed their feet and put on his outer garment, he reclined at the table again. Do you understand what I have done for you? he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because I am. Now if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Yes, I have given you an example so that you also would do just as I have done for you. Amen, amen. 
I tell you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. He took a cup, gave thanks, and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I tell you from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. <laughs> 